Hey guys, how we doing? Have a good day. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Vermont Maple View Farm coming to you again from the bunker. We were gonna film this video outside today, but since it refuses to stop raining in Vermont. Here we are back down in the basement. Today we're going to do a quick review of the 511 Apex Pants. You can get them at just about any retailer I've seen online from actually 511, Amazon, wherever. $79.99 a pair. They come in about 10 different colors. I'm wearing a pair and then I also have a pair on the desk here. Make it easier to go over some of the functions. These are the TDU greens and that is the Battle Brown. I've had them for about a year now and they've become my go-to pants. For the longest time I was wearing Vertex pants. I don't remember the model. They're a great pair of pants on a whim after reading some other people's reviews. I ended up buying a pair of these and I absolutely love them. So that being said, let's dive in. I'll lay the pants out on the table kind of go over some of the features of them and we'll go from there. All right, so starting out, the uh, belt loops all reinforced and they're made wide enough. Like I'm wearing a uh, Black Hawk uh, Riggers belt and it's a pretty wide belt for concealed carry. They fit through the, the loops, no problem. The loop in the back, extra support because that's your, your rear loop to help keep your pants up. As far as the material, they make it so that you've got a stretch area so when you're concealed carrying it's easy to have an in the waistband holster because it gives you that stretch you've also got a little bit more stretch in the crotch area they build it extra wide then a little bit of reinforcement in the knee area a little bit of reinforcement where you clip your knife in my knife is always clipped in boom and again you can see after a year of clipping and unclipping there's still nowhere on the pants. Going into the pockets. The pockets on these are kind of divided up which is what I like. So once you've got your main pocket here that can hold any big items but then there's a secondary pocket that's subdivided. So for me that means on mine on one side I carry my flashlight on the other side I'll carry the spare magazine for my carry because once again it's separated out into its own compartment and then you have the bigger compartment for your phone or if you carry a wallet, something of a bigger size. They also do have, they call it their uh, handcuff key holder, which you got your little spot back there for something like that. And now the actual material, and this, this is to me what really impressed me about these pants. I accidentally spilled almost an entire three quarts of used motor oil hot on these pants. These are the pants that that happened to. Okay, so this was the leg that there was literally oil that ran down to about here and you can see they've been washed maybe four times since then and I don't know, I can't tell the right side from the left that there was ever any oil on these pants. So when they say that they're Teflon coated to resist the stain I'm buying it. They did a great job with that, okay? As far as comfort, durability, they've been great. I wear them when we go hiking, splitting wood, whatever I'm doing, I've never had a problem with these pants as far as the comfort factor. Sizing. I've read different reviews about different people saying, you know, the sizing. I'm a short person, but I like my pants to be a little bit long at the bottom and bunched up. I know a lot of guys wear them, so the cut is like right even with their boot. I prefer them to give me that little bit of the space on the bottom, it covers my boot. That's how I wear them. That being said, I'm five, seven and a half inch on a good day. I still wear like a 32 inseam just to keep that extra bit of length. Move it on. And the back side, you've got the two rear pockets, which actually are four rear pockets. You've got your bigger full size pocket up on top. There's a smaller separated pocket. Once again, same on the other side. So it allows you to separate if you're carrying anything. I personally tend not to carry a lot of stuff in my back pocket. I find that's how you lose it or get pickpocketed. So usually everything is either in the front or the sides on everything that I carry. Construction zipper wise, YKK zippers. It's been a year on and off, back and forth. Everything still functions, no problem. 
and uh, no complaints there. So that pretty much sums up all the pocket layout. The only caveat I have on these would be for cold weather wear. For me, I don't mind the cold as much. I would say down to about 30 degrees, they're still pretty comfortable because it is a, a thinner material, which again, it is nice. I, I like the thinner material, but once you get into a Vermont winter and you start to get below 30 degrees, I would say throw a pair of long underwear on underneath them and they're good to go again. That being said, the last things that I would go over with these would be touching on the elasticity. For a concealed carry, you can see you've got plenty of room for placing a firearm for an appendix carry or if you did carry normally right side, left side, even small of the back. It does make it nice and easy to fit a firearm in and be comfortable while you're wearing it. You don't feel like the pants are snugged up against your body, cutting off your circulation. So last thing would be how I lay out everything in my pockets. I know we've already done an EDC video, feel free to go back and watch that. But the way I separate everything out, the bigger pockets, my phone is on one side, and in the main pocket, small chapstick, because that is hard to get. On the other side, again, front pocket, money, car keys in the main pocket, and then once you go into the side pockets, knife clipped on the side, smaller separated pocket, extra magazine, and there is two sections in the smaller section, so you theoretically could have two spare magazines on each side in the separated pockets. And then in the bigger main pocket, the Gerber Dime, going back to the other side, our little Zippo, and in the separated pocket, again, makes it easy to reach the little Streamlight pen. That's everything, and again, when you're wearing these, the way it distributes everything, you don't feel, I mean, I know it's not, you know, a ton of weight, but you don't feel any of it. It distributes the weight nicely. It makes it easy to carry a large amount of stuff on you. I think they're super comfortable, super durable. If you do conceal carry, they're a great pair of pants. You, you don't even feel it. The, the stain resistance to me, like I said, two to three quarts of, well, two quarts of motor oil spilled on those pants and you can't even tell it was ever there. So they're, they're well made. They're not lying when they say they're Teflon coated. All in all, I would give it two thumbs up. I just purchased a third pair myself, as well as a pair of the 511 Fast Tack boots, which we'll be reviewing in the future. Thanks, have a great day. Vermont Maple Leaf Farm.